Now then YouTube, I'm the Tough Man and welcome back to my Let's Play of Ars Magica 2. I've simply got Ars Magica 2 and uh, I've got a few other mods, but they're all client side. They're all like mouse tweaks and inventory tweaks and NEI and stuff like that. But the only big mod in here is Ars Magica. I've got nothing else but Ars Magica. I want to learn Ars Magica, so for me... To, to, to learn it properly, the only way I can do it is to have just that mod installed. So I've got absolutely no excuse to go anywhere else. So, here we go, guys. We've got today, we've got to make one of these uh, Nexus. Um, in which case, I think the best one for us to make in our current situation is the Essence Nexus. Now, I know that some people were, some people say that the Light Nexus, it, it just, it gathers energy just by itself. It gathers all this energy. Um, and I may go ahead and make this. What, what do I need? What do I require? I believe, I, I need quartz. And unfortunately, I'm nowhere near going to the nether yet. I don't think I've even found diamonds, let alone, um anything else to be able to get to the nether. So I'm stuck with uh, with one particular option, guys, the only one that's left, and that is the X Essence Nexus. The Dark Nexus requires nether bricks, and I don't have that either. But the Light, uh, sorry, the Essence Nexus requires stone bricks, and I, I have that, I have that. So why don't I go and get myself uh, some stone bricks. I'm also gonna need some blue chalk, as you can see here. So let's read this. Adapted as a middle ground between the Light and Dark Nexus, the Essence Nexus boasts more powerful generation capabilities than the Light Nexus, but without the side effects of the Dark Nexus. To create the middle rune, simply craft the blue chalk and uh, right-click the top of the block to make the rune at that position. To generate raw essence, it requires at least one liquid essence source or flowing block below it to act as a source of power. Um, keep in mind that the essence cannot be directly below as it's breaking the block directly... Hang on. Cannot be directly below it, as breaking the block directly below will destroy the nexus, which is this little rune thing here. Once the block is found below it, up to 10 blocks down, the nexus will search recursively based off that location in an attempt to find additional liquid essence sources. Now, I believe it does use the actual source, so you could make it so that these uh, source blocks all flow into the center bin below this, but it's not going to make any difference because it detects the flowing uh, the flowing block and then you know radiates out from there and then grabs that uh, that source. So there's really no point in moving it like that. At least that's how I think it works. It will continually drain the liquid essence source blocks found and create raw essence, as you uh, have, I've just explained. The liquid essence source blocks are eventually consumed. Each one gives roughly 500 essence, but there is some randomization to it. So. Luckily for us, 500 essence is exactly what we need to be able to make this spell. Let's first and foremost make sure that we've got all of the rest of the stuff. There's no point going into making that if we've got none of the rest of the stuff. So we need one blank rune. Uh, we all know how to make a blank rune. Or at least we should do by now. There. There's a couple of blank runes. Let's get them back in there. And, uh, oops. So, let's go ahead. We need two ohm. And I don't believe I've actually got any of these, which is this. Um, and I don't have any. I know for a fact I do not have any. So we're going to have to go out on the uh, on the search for some... Oh, um. Well, I'll do that in the morning, guys. And uh, I'll be back when I've found some. Well, I've come down to the Witchwood Forest to see what I can see, see, see. And I've managed to find something. Let's get rid of that fence there. Because I want the... Oh, um, which we've managed to get one. I think we need two of these, so I'm going to have to go and find another one. Um, I'm hoping there's not one too far away from where I am at the moment. I, I thought that maybe coming to the Witchwood Forest would help me out a little bit. And I would be able to find uh, what I needed. And of course I have found what I've needed. Look at all this man. I'm going to have to get something to uh, to try and get all this this into one area. But unfortunately I don't have any of the... Uh, I don't have pumps. I don't have anything like that in, uh, in order to suck all this up. I'm literally going to have to bucket it all. Um, look at the amount of cows that are over here, man. Oh my goodness gracious me. Let me go and, uh, and, and mercilessly mow these cows down. Did I pick up? I didn't pick up the leather. Right. Well, we've got plenty of wheat. Oh, we will have. Right, let's grab all this. Did I get, have I been getting the meat as well? I am getting the meat. Yes, good. Because uh, the meat's important. Let's grab all these cows. Right, um, yeah. Oh, um is what I'm trying to find. So let me see if I can find one more, and that will uh, do the job for me. Um, I'm probably going to need more of it as we're going along as well. But 
I, I really don't know. I honestly, I don't know much about... Ah, there it is, look. We've got another one. Brilliant. Let's go and grab this. Kill the cow on the way there. Oh, and on the way back, maybe. Right. Two of them. Brilliant. That's going to do the spell for me. Which is exactly what we want. That sheep's been sheared. Did I shear that sheep? Because I do have them on my on my uh, bar there. So I probably have, you know, and it's just not been loaded up. The chunks. So, makes sense. Alright, so, right. I will meet you guys when I'm back home. And I'm back home now as I slam my face into the front door. Okay, so... What I want to do, get my raw beef in there, because I need food. Um, but I need this... Oh, And I need two of them, as you can see. So now I've got two of them. Let me go ahead and uh, it'd be good to actually get a chest, if I can. To uh, to make this... Do I not have any wood anywhere? Did I put it all in here? Yes, I did. Like a clown? I put it all in there. Let me go and grab uh, another chest. So that I've got all the components ready. And waiting. For this uh, for this spell when it when it's when it's time. So right, two um is the second one. I need one blank rune. Ah, oh, I had one in my inventory already. Blind. One vintium dust. One lesser focus. Okay, that's interesting. So vintium dust. What is a lesser focus? Look at my inventory, man. It's just absolutely full. So the lesser focus here. Uh, I need gold nuggets and one piece of glass. Do I have glass? I do have glass. And I'm sure I've got gold kicking around. You know what? I only need the one. And uh, the reason... Ah. Oh, I do have... I've already got gold. So let me go and grab one of them then. And go ahead and get some gold nuggets. So I need four gold nuggets to be able to craft it. Top, middle and bottom. All that kind of stuff. Glass. And there's the lesser focus. Brilliant. Let me put that in there. What else have we got ready? Well, we need the essence which... Is neutral essence, so it can't be light essence. We have to do it the way that we're doing it, uh, which is good for us. We need a blue rune. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard. Have we got some lapis? I'm sure we have. It's always worth picking up some lapis, guys. And I do have some blue, uh, some blank runes on me. Be interesting to see now what is going to happen with uh, with this and whether or not what's going to happen with uh, you know in regards to the recipes down here. Okay, so it simply just scrolls through them all, all the time, so... Alright. We're gonna have to keep that in mind as we're creating recipes. So there's the blue rune. Fantastic. What else have we got left? A golden apple and a green rune. Now, have we got anything capable of giving us green dye? I don't believe so. Cactus, of course. Ugh, my god. You know, there we are. Brilliant. That gives us... Do I have to smelt that? I probably do. Okay. Um, so, there's the blue rune. We've got another spare rune left. So, it's a good job we did. And there's cactus green. Let's put that on there. Put that on there. And I'll have a green rune. Thank you very much. That's going to go onto there. Whoops. It's going to go into there. Um... What was that other thing? A golden apple, that was the one. I need an apple first, and I don't believe... Oh, oh! I've got a golden apple. Well, there you go. Golden apple, in there. Uh, and one spell parchment, which is just two sticks. In fact, I've still got that there, down there, so I can just go ahead and make one. And there's the spell parchment. So all that's left for us to do now, guys, is to go ahead and craft ourselves... Um, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Structures. There it is. With the essence nexus requires stone bricks, some chiseled stone bricks as well, which can be done with uh, the stone bricks there. And uh, requires blue chalk. So why don't I do this as one of my uh, sped up parts? We didn't, we didn't have a sped up part in the last episode, so we might as well have a speed up part in this episode. And uh, we'll go ahead and do that right now for you guys.
Well, guys, here we are. This is the completed Nexi. Nexus. Uh, there's only one, so yeah, it's Nexus. I am going to eventually get, you know, more plants and flowers around here. But for the moment, I've only got one. Uh, so that's going to stay there for the moment. Right, I've also made the blue chalk. So all I simply do is right click that. And there we go. Now, I there is stuff going on. Oh, actually, hang on a minute. I've, I've met a boo boo. I've met a boo boo. Let me go ahead and. Uh, Break these off here because it's too short currently. As you can see, that's why there's nothing actually moving in the bottom there. So we need another layer of stone bricks. So that's why it's all black. The the uh, the whole rune is black. It's not doing anything at all because it's not actually been done right. So chiseled stick uh, br bricks, not sticks. Chiseled sticks don't exist. And uh, ta-da! And now it's you can see that we're going to go ahead. And it's going to use underneath. You can see it's all getting sucked into there. Oh, man, that is fantastic. But we've got no way of finding out exactly what is in that particular nexus. We're going to have to craft something else for this. And this much I do know about Asmetrica. I know you're going to have to craft what's called um, a crystal wrench, I believe, which is this thing here. So we're going to need a blue orchid and a desert nova. Luckily for me, I did pick it. Oh, I may have to go and pick up my blue orchid, which is outside again. Uh, I'm going to need some more Vintium Dust, so it means that eight of them is going to have to uh, be uh, put back in to here. Brilliant. Let's go and grab that blue orchid. We need it back. And uh, it's just about to get dark, but luckily I do have a bed that I can sleep in anyway. Um, I, do, I, th I think this looks pretty good myself. I think that's pretty good myself. Right, let's grab that. It's got to sleep as well. Make sure that it's an, a nice and daytime for when we're doing with this. And uh, we're going to need some way of getting that power into here. It's going to need to connect to this uh, Nexus somehow. So, uh, well, I've got a plan on that one. I've got a plan for that one. There's some Vintium dust. Uh, it's got to sleep while there's no nasties around. So we can uh, work in, in peace. No zombies bashing on the door saying, let me in. Or else. Uh, where's my book gone? There it is. Um, actually, no, I didn't need my book to do. Uh, three iron. Okay, we've got that. We've got three iron. So let me go ahead and make this crystal wrench. Brilliant. And now, if we go outside, guys. I believe it's a crystal wrench. Or at least I hope it is. And I'm not just talking out my backside. I really do hope that it is a crystal wrench after, uh, after making it. Um, so... Right, how do I do this? Is it not a crystal wrench? Do I need something else to find out what the power's in there? I'm sure it was a crystal wrench. Do I need to shift left click, shift right click? I don't know. I forget. I've got it wrong, guys. It wasn't a crystal wrench. I do need a crystal wrench, but it wasn't the crystal wrench that I needed to find out what was inside the uh, the Nexus. We need a Magitech staff, which is going to require this mana focus, a stick, and a shimmerite. The stick and shimmerite are pretty easy. The mana focus, however, is going to require a little bit of work. I mean, it's it's easily done. Don't don't get me wrong, uh, but it's going to take a little bit of work to be able to get uh, get together. So I need some food as well because I've been running around like a headless chicken. There we are. Let's go ahead and make this uh, Magitech staff then. What do we don't we don't need that on our hot bar at the moment, and we don't need that on our hot bar at the moment. I need a glass. I also need four golden nuggets to make the uh, the lesser focus. Then I need to surround that with redstone to make the other one. If, I'm, if memory serves me correctly. Yes, that's the one. And uh, that, and is it two Vintium Dust? Yes, there we are, is the mana focus. Uh, the stick is easy enough to craft. And of course, the Shimmerite, I've got absolutely tons of that. So let's go ahead and uh, craft the Magitex Staff, which is right there. Yeah, good stuff. We're going to need this. This is something that we're definitely going to need to find out what's inside that nexus, so we can see what our limits are, what what you know, what it can store and stuff like that. But it's working. Oh my god, it is definitely working. It's just absolutely sucked that dry. It really has sucked that dry. Let's have a look 
uh, see what's in there. 62% full, and I think that's what? 409,360 essence. We only need 500 for our thing. So, you know, that's, that's good going. That's good going. We've got quite a lot of it. We need to transfer this power from the Nexus into here. Um, now, f to do this, we're going to have to create some way, shape or form, of, uh, of getting out of here. And, uh, right, here's the Nexus. Um, I wonder if I can do it in one high gaps. Because if I can do it in one high gaps, I'm still going to be okay. We're going to need a few things, guys. And uh, let me go ahead and whip the book open so that you can see what, I'm, what I mean. And this is the... the this is all I know about As Magica. Um, we need hmm, blocks. I think it's under. We need essence conduits, and this transfers the essence, but it also creates a deficit, which means we're also going to uh, need crystal pillars. Uh, isn't no, it's not crystal pillars. What am I about? It's um, is it crystal pillars? Hmm, it might be a crystal pillar actually. Yeah, I think it is, uh, to get rid of the, uh, the deficit. Uh, yeah. Um. A slight redesign allowed these crystals to directly inject residual mana from the area into a magical void uh, from a short distance away, stabilizing it and preventing the Vintium crystals in an essence conduit from building deficit. That's what we're going to need. We're going to need an essence conduit and a crystal pillar. Um, it, it, we may need two of these as well. So we need diamonds, and I haven't got diamonds so far. I haven't managed to find any. These are pretty easy to craft. So four stone and a shimmer, right? Uh, I just so happen to have quite a lot of stone from my last endeavors. Can I craft that back into stone? Oh, but I can't, no. Look at it, I've got some up here. And uh, Vintium uh, Shimmer, I should I say, not Vintium Dust. Let's, for the moment, craft ourselves three of these uh, of these Essence Conduits. Brilliant. So I'm gonna I'm gonna need to now find three diamonds. Now I don't know where the block is. I think this might be the block that it gets sucked into, uh, but I'm not entirely sure. I may need more than three if this is the case. I'm gonna pop that one down right down there. Um, I'm gonna pop this one. I'm hoping. Uh, what's the range of these? Does it say a range in the arcane compendium? Let's have a look. Uh, the essence conduits. Um, Infused with dusts to direct raw essence through the air, the Essence Conduit began uh, seeing heavy use almost immediately after its invention. However, channeling such magic often creates a minor void inside the crystal, a deficit of magic. Uh, should this not be properly managed, the void of magic will begin to consume part of the raw essence, travelling through the conduit, making it, more raw, uh, making it take more raw essence than normal to complete the transfer chain. It doesn't actually say whether or not there is... Um, a range of this to actually go to. Maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of these here. I'm gonna get rid of these here as well. And I'm gonna plonk this right there. Fingers crossed that this is gonna work. I'm gonna also gonna make a mech space for the other thing as well. Um, and then last but not least we've got another essence conduit to go over to uh, the essence thing itself. It's not going to suck the essence. As far as I'm aware, it's not actually going to suck that essence until I tell it to. Um, we need to we need to link all these up. And I believe you do it by... What's that? Do I do this? And then this. And I think we go inside and do a right click inside as well. Fingers crossed that I'm getting this right. And this. Have I set that right? I don't know if I have set that right or not. It's not transferring anything, and you know why I can tell? Because there's no little uh, orbs that are going anywhere. So, let me now... 500 essence of neutral. If I flick that switch... Is it going to be filling up with any of this essence? This is what I want to know. And I may just go ahead and break open this door here. 
See, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, there. There. And there. Is that too far away? I don't think they are too far away. I'm unsure of exactly what I'm doing here. I flicked the switch to be able to give it what I needed to give it. I've got a buff apparently. Mana regen. Hmm. Not doing anything here. Hmm. Right, I'm going to take a look into this, guys. I might. I may need to actually craft some more of these things. I might need to put something in there. I don't know. I'm going. I might have to craft some more of these things. Um. I don't know. I honestly don't know at the moment. But uh, I will take a look into it, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am currently back in my Ars Magica world, and uh, I've had a look into this. Now, uh, apparently, there is a little bit of uh, something that pops up here above the book when the essence is required, and then you've got to go ahead and, and sort that out. Oh, it's actually night time. Let me go and really, qu uh, really quickly go to sleep. So, okay, let's uh, let's sort this out then. Let us sort this out. So, we need a blank rune. First and foremost, we need a blank rune to actually sort this thing out and uh, and and get it going. So, I have no blank rune on my little bar down here anymore. It's, uh, of course, it's cobblestone. I've got some over here. Which I can just go and craft in, in, uh, in here for now. Blank runes, fantastic. Let's chuck that in there. Brilliant. Now we can actually start doing what we're doing. We need an ohm. An ohm. Oh. Which is uh, here. Oh, I've actually got the blank room in there. Vintium dust. Uh, this focus, the lesser focus, which is right here. Now, this is what I mean. This is the, uh, the uh, manner it requires. Let's click that. It's not... As you can see, it's not doing it. So, what we need to do now is go outside here. Apparently, right-click this. So you can see there's the white line going up. And apparently, we need to go ahead and click the middle block of this structure. And if, if, it, uh, if it disappears, apparently... Ah, oh, it's not linked. Alright, like that. Let's try doing it this way. Like that. Like that. And then like that, maybe. Is that how we do it? Well, we'll soon find out. No. Oh, come on, man. How is this? How is it meant to do this? Right, there's that. Okay. Right, now that's paired with that. Okay. Is this how it works? <laughs> I really don't know. Alright, let's try that out. Let's try that out. Oh my god, I've actually done it, guys. I've finally worked it out. And look at this. We've got corruption already. This is what I didn't want to happen. This. We've got uh, bad stuff. Bad, bad stuff that's happening inside here. Can we actually see with our Magitech staff? What's going on in here? Look at that de uh, deficit there. 7,977 deficit. A little bit less in that. And a lot less in that. So that one's, they're all cooling off. But we need to uh, make something to put next to them. But I need diamonds. As you know uh, from when I told you earlier. So, But we passed this now. We passed this. We can actually make the spell. There's the blue rune. The golden apple. The green rune. And another ohm. And last but not least, the spell parchment itself. Oh, love that sound. Love that sound. And we've got it. Self spell. Mana cost is uh, 46.88, which is quite a lot, actually. It's not as much as this. It's half of that. So let's go ahead, right-click this, and give it a name. What should we call this? Heal me! 
So, okay, we've got that. So, here we are, look. That seems perfect to me. That seems absolutely perfect to me. Oh, and it actually works. Regeneration as well. Fan freaking tastic, guys. We got there in the end. We certainly got there in the end. I need to uh, to make these things now. That's the next thing I need to do. Uh, which are, if I go into here, we need these crystal pillars. No, we don't. Yes, we do. We need these crystal pillars. Um, do we need these crystal pillars or is that the actual thing? Essence conduit? No, that's the actual conduit. Uh, okay, yeah, it's the crystal pillars. It must be the crystal pillars that we need. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's definitely the crystal pillars, I swear. Uh, so those will take the deficit out of the uh, the block as Essence is travelling through it. Uh, I'm going to need diamonds for that, though. And uh, unfortunately, at the moment, I haven't got diamonds. So we're pretty screwed there. Um, what I will do, actually, is just change this around down here. I've got a lot of things to sort out. A lot of things to sort out and figure out exactly where I'm going to be carrying what. It would be nice if there was something on the side here that you could hold all your spells in. Now, I believe that there is a book, actually. Let me uh, let me have a quick look. I'm sure that there is a book, if I remember right. Um, items. Is it under items? Essence and Essence's bag. Um, spell book. Here we are. The spell book is a useful item to have, uh, allowing mages to organise their spells and save space at the same time. The spell book, when equipped, can be scrolled through either by pressing the X and Z, which is default, or by sneaking and rolling the mouse wheel. Spell books can be dyed a variety of different colours. They can be enchanted with some useful powers. So we need three string, two paper, and four leather. Do we have this? I, we got, we've got two string. We just so happen to have two string. Uh, but we definitely have the four leather we need. And of course, the paper shouldn't be that hard to come by, guys. So there's not a problem there. In between episodes then, I'm going to be working on getting diamonds. I'm going to be working on also getting some string. And uh, we'll see about making a spell book. And also making these uh, these conduits. These um, essence... What do they call them again? I forget. Crystal pillars, that's the one. We'll also be making those crystal pillars as well. So it's nice to finally get these done. Um, it, it You know, it threw me for six if that's the right way of putting it. The fact that I had to right click on there and then right click on here and then that linked them two together. Then I had to right click on there again to, and then right click on there. I would, you know, it. I, I would have been there forever trying to work that out. I would have been there forever trying to work that out. So I got it in the end though. Uh, and luckily, you know, by knowing the fact that I could link that with that, I finally figured out that I could actually link these together as well. So we got there in the end, guys. We definitely did. In between episodes, like I said, I'm going to go grab some diamonds and I'm going to go grab some more stuff that we need to be able to further our uh, our jaunt into As Magicka 2. So I hope you've enjoyed it so far, guys. If you have, please do leave a like. It really does help the series. And uh, until next time, I've been the Tough Man. Thanks very much for watching. And as always, stay safe. <laughs>